Hi, it's Sean and Zach from Engadget, and we're here today with Rode and Schwartz having a look at a wireless test lab. So this is our uh, TS8991 system. Um, we're looking specifically at the anechoic chamber for antenna, uh, antenna type testing. Uh, here we can do our radio uh, sensitivity and radio um, max power measurements, TRP and TIS. Um, this specific chamber is actually uh, set up with the two theta positioners for the MIMO decomposition method that uh, Roger Schwartz is uh, proposing for a CTI method. Uh, so what we're looking at is we're looking at the uh, pedestal changing the azimuth and then the two quadrature horn antennas, those would be our elevation measurements. So in essence we can get a 3D pattern at the end. So uh, this would be our chamber, then we go to the uh, test equipment. Um, this particular chamber or method can actually test 2G, 3G, 4G, uh, WLAN, 802.11, A, B, G, and N, as well as uh, Bluetooth. So uh, all your wireless technologies that are implemented in the phone we can test in this chamber. Uh, and then AMS32 is the control software which is handling all the automation um, and post-processing. It's more of a play and forget system. Once you start the sequence, uh, all the measurements are collected and post-processing into a measurement report. So can we, do you have a report up we can go look Seeing at? The, uh, the blue arrow is telling us where we are in the, uh, in, the, in the measurement. We can see our azimuth, which is the pedestal, and then these would be the elevation. These would be our theta positioners. And we can see the primary and the secondary. And over here we have these four. Yeah, so these would be the polar plots for each each uh, polarization pair. So um, with MIMO, 2x2 two two MIMO, you have what's called the H matrix. Uh, it would be the two data streams as well as the crosstalk. And we, and we measure for each one of these because the measurement antennas are quad, quad ridge horn antennas, they're cross pulled antennas. So that's what's happening here is the switching the polarization, moving the azimuth, moving the elevation, while collecting data and plotting it onto the polar plot. These are 3D plots of each, each uh, polarization. We can actually right click on these and take a look at where it's uh, performing best. Because this is a sensitivity test. The center is where we're performing best with the, uh, the, the elevation cut at 90 degrees. And then at the higher elevation cuts where you have your pull, uh, your um, your nulls, and you're going to see worse performance. Um, you also, at the end, get a measurement report. And as soon as this PDF opens. So here we can actually see what our measurements were. Um, this is all of our raw data tables. Um, and then we have our different uh, theta, theta feed cuts. For the measurement itself. So these are like slices through that. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome.